This video is supported in part by Tommy and the Order of Cosmic Champions. If you enjoy The NeverEnding Story and Masters of the Universe, this new novel coming fall 2022 is right up your alley. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John, and I am a Gen X Grown Up. As part of the Atari 50th anniversary celebration, so much stuff is being done by Atari. One of them that started almost a year ago now is the release of these Atari XP cartridges. In the first batch, they featured things like Aqua Venture and Saboteur, but the one that got my attention was Yars Return, the sequel to Yars Revenge that was never officially an Atari 2600 game, but later was released on a lot of those flashback units as an unofficial sort of sequel that's been adopted by Atari. Well, when I saw that thing, I absolutely picked one up. I even ordered the expensive limited edition, 150 bucks. I know, I know, but it just showed up in the mailbox. I haven't even cracked it open yet. Let's head to the table and check it out together right now. This bad boy just arrived. I haven't even opened it myself, and so we're going to experience it together. You're going to get my initial honest reaction to what's going on with this little cart. Cut it open and see what we got. I mean, we know what we're supposed to get, but does it live up to the hype? And they've done some redesigns recently to what they're going to do with these XP cartridges, so who knows? Who knows? Hmm, okay. Who doesn't love bubble wrap? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Big fat box, almost as big as a Star Raiders box that had that extra controller in it, but not quite, not quite. This Yars Return is labeled number three in the series, a couple more in that first wave. On the back, Yars Return. Yeah, first and foremost, credit where credit is due. We get Kurt, Howard, and Dennis all credited here on the back. And here we can see all the stuff that's gonna be in there. The poster, the manual, the pin, the badge, the, the, all this cool stuff, the COA. Look, we know that's gonna be in there. Let's get it open and actually see it. Shrink wrap off. I'm ready to crack it open and see all of the goodies inside. Whoa! Whoa, okay, I just saw the cartridge. I'm gonna save that for a second. We're gonna look at that in a minute, but holy moly. Whew, okay, so I see we got this little patch. Here's our certificate of authenticity. We have a little enamel pin, a manual, a poster. Check this out. Oh, that's cool. The manual is, it's pretty beefy little manual here. Comic book, the comic book is included in the manual. Amen. Yep, so that's the original Yars Revenge comic. Oh, what do we got? We got some Q&A in here about, oh, what's all going on? Oh, Dennis dubrow has got an interview in here, some factoids. This is more than just a manual. This is like a little, like, legacy of what's going on with this set. What did Dennis Dubro have to say? Check the man out himself. How'd you get involved? Are you a fan of Howard Scott Warshaw? Obviously, we all are. This is... This is like a document explaining why these things exist. This is not just a manual. That's great. COA here. Yeah, a little uh, hologram in the corner. Atari watermarking all the way across it. Some uh, printing or whatever there. This enamel pin with Yars Return on it. Beautiful. And this patch is a beast. Look at this thing. This is This is like... This is like a four or five inch patch. I thought this was gonna be a little like uh, like a two or three inch little circle or something, but that is awesome. Okay, I teased the cartridge and okay, let's not wait any longer. Check this out, check this out. This is not what I was expecting. It's better, holy crap. Would you look at this? Have you ever seen an Atari cartridge quite this gorgeous? Holy moly. Whew. Yes, it's beautiful. Yes, I paid too much money for it. Yes, I now have it in my hand. And oh boy, but okay, maybe. But look at that satin kind of finish on there. That's really pretty. Okay, what we got to look at now though is give this thing a spin. Now I happen to have my 2600 Junior sitting here. And the first thing I noticed when I went to plug it in is that the artwork is reversed so you can see the game when it's plugged in. You'll remember typically when you plugged in a game, the artwork was on the reverse side and you couldn't see it. Well, for the Yars Return, it's actually the other way around. So when I plug it in, I can see that beautiful artwork. And this, this I was not prepared for. Check this out. Boom! Look at that! So they put like an LED in here, tapped into the power, and the thing lights up. 
I, like you gotta find a way to keep this on all the time on a shelf. This is gorgeous. I was, I had no idea. I had no idea they were gonna have these little clear illuminated uh, plastic or lucite or whatever standees on top of the cartridges that light up when I play them. That's bonus, bonus, bonus. All right, let's check the game. I can cycle through the options here. I see one player, two player, normal, novice, ultimate. All right, let's do one player normal just for fun and check it out. <laughs> oh no, oh, ouch, gotta watch out for those bullets in Yard's Return. Easy to kill. We're gonna... I mean, Yard's Return is really just Yard's Revenge uh, more dimensionally, right? So I can have that drill on cannon here. Boom! <laughs> Ooh, man, if you are an Atari fan like I am, this is an amazing bunch of stuff they have crammed in this box. Look, I know it was expensive. I know it was probably not the wisest purchasing decision I could have made, but I'm really pleased with what Atari has delivered here. I'll be the first to say that it kind of feels like they're going back to the well and kind of milking Atari fans for their money, but I'm willing to pay it. So apparently they're onto something that might not be so bad. If you enjoyed this and you're a Yars fan, you should check out this video I did not long ago talking about 10 great things you might not know about the original Yars, including the existing of this Yars return. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I will talk to you next time. Bye bye.